My approach is not so much to teach students about technology, but to teach students how to teach themselves about technology so that they can, as the technology advances, reskill themselves and re-educate themselves so that they remain a viable technologist in, in the long term. A lot of what our culture is grappling with right now uh, in a lot of places is very philosophical questions having to do with very ancient questions. And I think we can use popular culture as a way of getting students engaged in very insightful, very interesting kinds of examinations of big questions. And so I use a lot of science fiction, I use a lot of popular culture, I use a lot of you know, recent sort of media, video games, uh, you know, peer-to-peer -peer networking. He is uh, a proponent of using pop culture in, in academia, which not everyone is. And I think that helps uh, relate to the students a lot that are in his classes because they can see that here's someone who's talking um, or trying to teach or guide us through these these philosophical mazes or this you know, complex um, computer technology, but he's doing it in a way where he's, he's bringing in pop culture, he's talking about Battlestar Galactica, he's bringing in comic books, he's talking about uh, mashups and popular music. For students, I think, helps them connect directly with the material in a way that's a lot more intuitive and a lot more visceral for you know, where they're at and what they're interested in. I would stress that um, someone should take Dr. Gunkel's class if they have any inkling or interest at all in philosophy or technology, but even more so if they don't. If you're someone who doesn't like computers, who hates computers, who doesn't like technology, and you're a neo-Luddite, I think you should take his class even more so. I, for one, came into the course you know, having certain stances about technologies and computers, and I came out with something that was a little bit more open, so even in myself I saw those, those changes take place. I think the one thing that students really get from the classes that I teach and that will really pay off in the long run is information and computer literacy, because this is the thing that I think no matter where they go, no matter what they do, is going to pay off in both success, in money, in lifestyle, you name it. The job interview that I went to, they were most impressed with the skills that I learned in Dr. Gunkel's class. And to be able to talk about things that I've learned in school and um, have an employer be impressed with that is unmatchable. So I think that's really why I recommend it to my friends because it's real world application and real world knowledge that employers will be impressed with. The one thing I tell my students is that there will never be a day in which you will say to yourself, geez, I wish I would have learned less about computers. It's just not going to happen. Communication needs to think about how new technologies are always coming out and affecting the way that uh, humans communicate. Dr. Gunkel's at the cutting edge of looking at uh, how the internet uh, has been used and will be used. By the time I work up my own sort of understanding of something, that's maybe good for a semester, maybe two semesters if I'm lucky. After that, I have to revisit it and I have to learn again uh, what it is all about, why it is that it's important, and how it is that I want to deliver that information to the students. So it keeps me consistently having to uh, be on the move and to be evolving and scaling my own understanding and my own approach to things uh, to fit a world that's very dynamic and very changeable.